Okay, so uh, here is the uh, GoPro Hero 3 and uh, I've just done the firmware update. Uh, the firmware update was released uh, probably an hour or so ago and what this firmware update is going to allow me to do is use it in conjunction with my iPhone. So um, we've got an iPhone 4 here, so uh, that's what we're going to be using. So uh, what we're going to do is try and pair the two up and see how we go. Okay, so the uh, firmware is on and pretty much ready to go. So what we're going to do is now set this uh, GoPro Hero up to sync with my or work with my uh, iPhone. Um, I'm not sure how to do this. This is the first time I'm doing this. I assume we're going to set up. Uh, it won't be any of these. I've gone in the additional setup where we need to go there actually. This is where we need to go to wireless uh, controls. So we'll select that. And we'll go down to phone and tablet. I'll select that. And it appears to be searching for a device it looks like. So we'll try that out with the iPhone. Okay, here we go. Searching for GoPro. No camera connected. So I have a feeling we're going to have to go into setup. And there's a GoPro. And I'll put the password in. Okay, I am connected to the GoPro Hero 3 now. So we'll go back to the GoPro software. Now hopefully this will work. Okay, that looks good. And yep, it looks as though we are connected. Okay, this is really cool. Okay, I'm getting a lot of echo here, so I'll put the volume down. Um, what I'll do is go into the uh, setup. Uh, preview on. Uh, settings. Oh, this is excellent. So we can change all the settings, version, video. We'll go to... Uh, 1080p. Um, feel the view, it's on wide, that's good. Two second, up, down, spot meter off. Um, the fault power video, Pro Tunes. It's on NTSC, which is what I've been recording in lately, so we'll leave that as NTSC, that's fine. SD card capacity. This looks really good. Okay, I think we're about ready to uh, try the preview function on this and see how we go. Um, okay, so as you can see, we have them both paired up and um, we can see the video out of the GoPro. Um, people sort of asked, what sort of lag do you get out of this? It's a reasonable amount of lag. Uh, I think that's going to be unavoidable because you're going over, over Wi-Fi. But just to give you an example, what I will do is put my hand in front of the camera. It's in front of the camera and away. One, two, three. Okay, about three seconds it looks like. In front again. One, two, three. Yeah, about three second lag looks like that we have uh, from the actual GoPro itself. And there you can see I'm moving the camera around. But having said that, this is going to be really handy for uh, framing up shots. I think it should work quite well. I have some great plans for this. Okay, I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but I'll quickly run you through exactly what I'm doing here. Is I've got my GoPro Hero 3 in um, its uh, stabilization rig. 
So when filming within a rig or even handheld or whatever, if you can get the camera, sorry, your iPhone on the back, it's going to make a phenomenal difference as far as being able to video goes because you're going to be able to frame things up correctly. So um, that's the plan. This should add a little bit more functionality. And obviously if you're using it on a radio control aircraft, just being able to preview it through your phone means you can determine whether something's in the shot that you don't want in the shot. Like quite often in the Bixler, I have the uh, nose of the aircraft in the shot and I absolutely hate that. So I've got my camera angled a little bit too far down. So this should help alleviate a lot of those sort of problems. So there you go, the GoPro Hero 3 uh, connected up via Wi-Fi. All looks pretty good to me. Hi guys, I also just discovered that there's also an app out for the Androids, which I was really surprised with. So um, they've also released an Android app. And it's kind of cool, but it kind of isn't because it's actually way better then the, um, well it's buggy for a start, that's the first problem. Um, but it's also faster than the Go the um, iPhone. So um, as far as the refresh rate is way, way faster. I think we're getting around about three seconds on the iPhone. So we're gonna try it out now. So I've got my Nexus tablet. Okay, so I've got my Nexus tablet and what we'll do, we'll switch on the camera. Oh. The camera should come on. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, put that there. Okay, so um, as you can see, it's all working. And okay, here we go. I'm gonna stick my hand in front of the camera. So three, two, one, now, and there you go, out. It's the refresh rate is definitely quicker than um, the um, iPhone. So uh, looks like if um, you're going to be uh, streaming uh, to a device, if you have an Android phone, it might be the way to go. Um, the software's still a little bit buggy, but then again, it's it's pretty new. So that could be the reason why. Um, it, all in all, it looks quite good. So there you go. If you have an Android or an iPhone. You can actually use the Wi-Fi in conjunction with your GoPro Hero 3. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Um, catch us later.